Hello and welcome to Mtoto News Inside This Week. I am Anne Wamboe and starting us off, Young Scientist Kenya will be holding an exhibition on science and technology at Kenya International Conference Center on the 5th and 6th July this year to showcase innovations created by young minds. It is the first science and technology exhibition opened to members of the public which will have the qualified high school students from over 81 schools in Kenya exhibit the innovations created under science, technology, engineering and mathematics mentorship program STEM. The program provides a platform for young people in different counties to demonstrate their innovations and showcase scientific talents, at the same time encouraging the young generation to develop projects that seek practical solutions to the problems in the society. Presiding the event will be Education Cabinet Secretary Ambassador Amina Mohammed, Irish Ambassador to Kenya Dr. Vincent O'Neill, alongside other national and international guests from the government and private sector, academia, civil society and non-state actors, as well as schools from within the country. The education program currently rolling in some schools is a partnership with Embassy of Ireland as they have celebrated 55 years of Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition. Creativity, ideas and innovation is what it takes to build up a country and for initiatives to happen, young minds have to be included in decision making and coming up with solutions to problems in the society. Constance Ndeleko has more on YSK exhibition. In Kenya, science education is considered to be a key driver to innovation and socio-economic development, and that's why we give our children the opportunity to present new ideas to motivate Kenyan students with interest in science-related fields. So um, Young Scientist Kenya um, takes the basis and the inspiration from uh, the Irish model and the Tanzania model that of young scientists programs that um, have had success in those um, respective countries uh, over the last years. Um, young Scientist Kenya aims to get the um, get science and, and technology interesting to make uh, you know these subjects on maths and technology and biology, chemistry that can be sometimes very daunting to understand mm -hmm. and make it fun, exciting and accessible um, to all students uh, from, you know, primary up to secondary. Young Scientist Kenya, I, I believe it will make a very big impact in Kenya um, to get everyone to be involved in the sciences and also to include um, the private sector and other stakeholders uh, that will make uh, you know the continuation of the education um, and to have for the children to have a goal to reach to and the, so it's not just a subject in school it can be a career it can be uh, something that they inspire to to have a uh, an opportunity to enter this field or these different fields where you use STEM um, in the real world Young Scientist Kenya Exhibition is set to start on the 5th to 6th of July to allow young minds to bring on the table new scientific ideas and innovations in chemical, physical and mathematical sciences, technology, biological and ecological sciences, social and behavioral sciences. With the Vision 2030 that significantly depends on science, technology and innovation, will place Kenya in a better position to grow ideas and innovations that will spearhead growth both economically and socially. YSK is a brief springboard for future entrepreneurs, innovators, academics, CEOs, and scientists aligned to global sustainable development goals as science and technology are the key drivers to the ending of extreme poverty, inequality, and climate change. In preparation to Young Scientist Kenya exhibition, it is the duty of everyone in the society to ensure that we give our children the total support they deserve for a remarkable bright future. From Toto News, I'm Connie Ndeleko. In other news, civil society organizations held a joint meeting with members of parliament from 28th to 29th June at Amboseli Lodge to strategize on children agenda in Kenya. The meeting brought together 15 legislators from the committees of finance and budgeting, justice and legal affairs, social and labor and education. They discussed the children's bill and the rising cases of violence against children and sustainable development goals. The members of parliament committed to support efforts by the government and civil society organizations to improve the lives of children. 
and in international news, President of the United States of America, Donald Trump, through the Attorney General Jeff Sessions, recently enforced a zero-tolerance policy that directs authorities to send foreign nationals attempting to cross into the United States borders to jail and refer them to prosecution without exceptions. Now, families and individuals attempting to cross the American borders are fleeing from danger and desperation from their Central American homes. For example, Guatemala have for weeks been arrested and prosecuted for breaking immigration laws. According to VOX, at least 2,700 children have been split from their parents between October 2017 and May 2018. 1,995 of them were ranged between April 18 and May 31, 2018 to indicate that each day a child is segregated from their parent. The United States of America recently pulled out of the United Nations Human Rights Council on basis that the council is a poor defender of human rights. Following this, immigrant children have been on the headlines globally after officials were reported and seen forcefully taking children away from their parents. When they came across to the U.S. side, the Border Patrol gathered them all together and uh, began taking people's names, um, IDs, and seeing the children in the crowd was very uh, emotional for me. Um, the mom told me that they had been um, traveling for a month and coming from Honduras uh, through Mexico over the course of a whole month is a very difficult journey uh, for these folks, uh, often very dangerous. And so by the time they had reached the U.S. side, they had probably been through a lot already. That is all we at Mtoto News prepared for you this week. Please visit our blog and social media pages at Mtoto News for more updates and information. Have a lovely week. I am Anne Wamboy.